Hello. Hi. Who are you? I'm Paige. Like your bow tie. No. Dr. Sturgis heard about my research on quantum chromodynamics at high temperatures and invited me to audit his course. Yes, he's been super nice. The spaghetti goes on the hot dogs. No, you're deriving nuclear physics from- Do you know if he'll be doing a full color octic calculation with matrix manipulations? You know how to differentiate under the integral sign? Oh, do you know anything? How old are you? I'm 10. I'm 10 too. When's your birthday? February 26th. March 17th. I'm the youngest person in this class. <laughs> That's funny. I'm younger than him. I love surprises. Did you enjoy this one? Yes. Bad. Not since sharing a uterus with my twin. Sheldon! Dr. McCoy was an idiot. Since we'll be spending a few hours together, I've created... We'll start with a tour of my room. My Little Pony. I love My Little Pony. That I share a room with my sister, too. <laughs> Super fun. That's my mouse. This is my... Also goes in the printer. Do you watch a show? No, I don't really like it. I think he's boring. And he dumps everything down. If you're interested, we could play a... That sounds fun. That's a new piece. Yes, but there's an obvious flaw. Well, anytime anyone is checkmated, they can simply have the wizard and their king switch places, so the game will never end. You actually believe in the multiverse theory? Very much so. It's the most elegant interpretation of quantum mechanics. So you really think there are an infinite number of universes? Stephen Hawking believes it, so yes, I do. Well, if there are an infinite number of universes, I think that theory is dumb in all of them. <laughs> this is fun. I don't get to have discussions like this with kids at my school. Do you? Do you ever wish you were just like everyone else? <laughs> Me neither. I love being smarter than everyone. Um, and then I thought, maybe my mother was right. Checkmate. You lose. <laughs> Guess that makes me the smartest. He enraged me. Checkmate. <laughs> know what happens to quarks when we combine we can ignore the particle masses at the individual quark level cool a real age is that a new book i'm so happy to see you are you happy to see me not immediately <laughs> that's okay i'm happy enough for both of us got so many people interested in radioactive decay Hi. Hi. This is a nice... I enjoyed your paper on accelerator mass spectrometry and wanted to find out more. I read this magazine. It has puzzles, too. <clears throat> 5,730 year half-life of carbon-14 is used as a geochronometer. Um... Carbon dating is how we figured out how old my grandmother is. <laughs> <laughs> It was at this moment I learned I was not only brilliant, I was also... For now, let's neglect changes in the isotopic years. So this is pretty basic stuff. Yes. I'm bored. Let's get out of here. I can't. I told my dad I'd stay here until the end of the lecture. Okay. See ya, baby. I'm leaving. In our case, the math yields approximately... Do you think humans will become extinct like the dinosaurs? Yes, but before that happens, some of us will merge with computers and become immortal cyborgs. That's a fascinating idea. Thank you. Did you get that from a TV show? No. A comic book. So, I love that. Where are you going? It's closed. I can read. Baby. This is oddly reminiscent of a dinner with my family. You're funny. I know. My family never eats dinner together. Why not? My dad always manages to come home from work after we're done. Hmm. My dad never misses a meal. Do you think Stone Age parents stayed together forever? <laughs> what? That was funny. Well, I think my parents are getting a divorce. Why? They fight all the time. About what? Mostly me. 
Why? I'm real sorry about this. What were you thinking? I got bored. Because you're a baby. And everything's fine. Oh, sure. Yes. Hi. Sheldon? Hi, Missy. Hi. Those are so cute. Mom? Can Missy and I go to the Hello Kitty store? Well, it's okay with me if it's okay with Mary. I will. I promise. Boy, you still one pencil sharpener, and you never hear the end of it. You, you look nice going out to dinner with your husband. Ugh, no. Girlfriends. Hi, Sheldon. What are you doing? Cute. I did that last year. Paige! Missy! Dolls, I told them all about you! <laughs> Did you know that tea was discovered by accident? The Emperor Shenong of China was boiling water in his garden, and a leaf from a tea tree fell into his pot. Where'd you think it comes from? <laughs> now pick a color. The name of your future pony is Sparkle Sunshine. Sheldon, do you want to have your fortune read? Why? It's fun. Oh, yeah? What's your favorite color? <laughs> Come inside and play with us. Don't invite him. This is a girl's fort. Come inside. Old man. <laughs> Put tying Georgie's ankles together so when he can. <laughs> That's when the bloodthirsty goat man, part goat, part man, crept up the sleeping. Children sink his sharp little teeth into their necks and drink their blood. Problem? Several. Sheldon. It's just a fun, scary story. It's old man. More like 110. You know, I read that adults who had a stunted childhood often become social misfits and weirdos. Psychology Magazine, February issue, 1988. That, guess you'll find out when you're an adult. <laughs>